hey guys welcome back to my channel if you're new welcome hi by the title y'all know like basically <laughs> I had a lot that I just wanted to discuss really quickly for my snowflakes that are returning. You guys know, like I was telling you guys the other day in the last vlog or in a previous vlog, I think it was the last vlog. Anyway, I was telling you guys about my issues, my concerns about how um, basically plus size women are basically just here to show clothes and we don't talk about nothing else about it. And not that, you know, the clothes thing is nothing wrong with that, but there's just some myths that's going around and I just want to clear the air. I mean, I thought today was a good time to just let the truth be known. So today I'm going to be bringing you the top five myths, in my personal opinion, about plus size women, plus size girls. And I just want to get to the bottom of it and just make some things clear. Go ahead and already give me a dislike for the haters because I know y'all coming. And y'all are welcome. Engagement is always a great thing. There is no such thing as bad engagement. And for all the people that are just going to really feel this video, you may want to go ahead and just share it so that we can just spread the word. Because I'm just tired of all the false misconceptions. Anyway, let me just go ahead and jump right into my list. Well, I'm going to start from five to one. The one, the most important one is going to be the last one. So stick around for that. All right. All right. And make sure you subscribe too, because y'all know y'all is loving this. Y'all is loving this. <laughs> Number five, plus size girls cannot wear certain fashion trends, such as bikinis, patterns, bright colors, and they also cannot wear leggings as pants. First of all, I know y'all, I don't know about y'all and who y'all following on Instagram or what y'all explore page looks like, but I see some bomb ass plus size women wearing bikinis, patterns, bright colors, and also leggings as pants. Actually, in fact, hello, leggings as pants, and if it ain't green, it ain't me. Actually, I probably should have said if it isn't green, it isn't me. But anyway. That's a bunch of crap. Actually, plus size women can wear whatever they feel like they look good in. Now, I will go ahead and say that I do not think that everything is for everybody. There are certain articles of clothing that I myself don't feel comfortable in or that they should be worn a certain way. But is it really my job to police what someone else wants to wear? I'm just talking about what's comfortable for me. But clothing being off limits altogether, what you thought this was because it's 2019 and we ain't with it. That ain't it. And we're going to do what we want to do. And I encourage everybody to do what they want to do. Plus size, skinny size, small size, medium fries. Live your best life because everybody always going to have something to say anyway. So you might as well just do what makes you happy. I know you guys have heard that before and it is very true. All right, so number four. And this one is one of my favorites. Stomachs don't go in leggings. How, Sway? You ain't got the answers, man. You ain't got the answers. Again, hi, this is my stomach, and it's also right in my leggings. It fits right in there. Look, watch this, watch this, watch this. Stomach, whoop. How? And I don't know where the trend came for people to police other people's body and tell them what they can and can't do with the clothes that they buy. What is wrong with y'all? I get it because I'm used to it. I mean, if you guys are... You know, not new around here. And you know that you you know I post what I eat in the days when I was doing keto and everything. People was quick to tell me what wasn't keto, what wasn't healthy, what I shouldn't be eating. And everybody really should just mind the business that pays them. I don't know why you're concerned about where someone's stomach is going, and I don't know why it affects you. Quite frankly, if I can pull a piece of fabric upon my stomach, I guess it goes there. I don't know. I just I don't see where it would go on top of the leggings. Make it make sense. Number three. I think I said that number four was my favorite, but actually all of these are my favorite because it's all a crock of... <laughs> so, number three. Plus size girls secretly all want to lose weight. I have this tea cup here. There's no tea in it, but we just gonna play along. Ciao. Let me just say, skinny isn't for everybody. And I know somebody gonna be like, she just saying that cause she fat and she was skinny. Ciao. Been there, done that. I have never been more comfortable with myself than I am at this very present time. I actually, if you can ask people that know me, never thought, I'm not gonna say I didn't think I looked good smaller because when I was smaller, I thought I looked good. But I see myself now and I see those pictures and I'm like, no, you look better. Basically, 
I'm always gonna think I look good no matter what I look. I could be a size zero or I could be a size 25 and I'm probably still gonna think I look good because I've just always had very high confidence. And if, some, if confidence is something that you do struggle with, no matter your size, then that's something that you really should try to work on because it's important for you to have a positive body image of yourself. And again, I don't know why everybody's concerned with what other people look like or their weight or their skin color or their hair. I really don't know. But I will tell you again, there are a lot of people that are just as confident as I am and they don't have a need to change their body, whether it's plastic surgery, whether it's losing weight, whether it's gaining weight, whether it's anything, they don't feel the need to do so because they love themselves exactly how they are. And I don't think that it needs to be proven. I don't think that anybody should care or worry about it. But everybody ain't secretly trying to look like what other people think that they should look like or what main media or what media suggests that they should look like. And this is a big thing for me because I recently saw, I think it was Stefan Don. Um, I think it was her, but don't, don't, I don't, uh, -uh don't, mm -mm, let's just leave it off the record just in case. But it was uh, somebody that said that, um, if darker people could choose to be lighter than they would, and this, this goes along with this, why, why do you believe that? Why do you think that people that don't look like you wish they looked like you? Because obviously there are skinny people that want, the skinny people are the ones that saying, fat people really want to lose weight if they could, but they just lazy. They, why do you think that they want to look like you? Or... If there's a skinny person, it's like, well, if she could be thick, child, she would. A thick person would say that. And why do you think that they want to look like you? What makes you so special? Asking for a friend, honestly, because I, at this point, could care less. Number two, which kind of ties into number three. Plus size girls have low self-esteem. <sighs> Hi, I'm Britton. Have you met me yet? Because my self-esteem is through the roof, child. Honestly, no, no, no. I, I really don't know if you guys have been, maybe I'm outdated with my list or people are living under a rock, but my Instagram again is filled with the self-esteem. Oh my God. It's just, I, I couldn't even bottle it up and contain it. It's just so much self-esteem. It's just, it's too much. It's so much self-esteem that it's becoming other people's esteem because it's spilling over. Honestly, I, let's really address the issue here. Why do people think that people just hate being big? I mean, I guess in society, everybody would want to be small. And up until recently, everyone at least wants a small waist and then everything else can be big. I don't know, but everybody just does not have a desire to be small. And going back into number three on the list, that plus size people would like to lose weight, why would my self-esteem be low? Because I'm bigger. If I'm fine with that, I like the way I look, and I'm still the baddest bitch you ever saw. <sighs> Y'all, really, I'm not even, like, I'm very, very humble. <laughs> I'm just really trying to make a point here. Like, I've had so many comments talking all kinds of stuff and I know that that usually is what comes with the territory when you're on social media but I love I love 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 for people to say negative things to me because I don't know about the next person but I can take it I don't care it doesn't affect me it does not bother me and honestly it's kind of comical that you think a stranger saying something is going to mess up my day i love the fact that you think you have that power because you don't and again give me all the negativity because i don't know how the next girl will feel about it and i don't want them to have to go through nothing but i can take it come on all right <laughs> number one the biggest one that's why it's number one and again if you are a snowflake and by this point you really should be you know that this is a big fat ass myth lie all of that number one plus size girls are unhealthy Okay, so using myself as an example, I have been smaller, like I showed you previously. I'll show you again. Child, I was not as healthy as I am right now today. I know that for a fact. I go to the gym four to five times a week. If you're following me on Instagram, then you know that. Also, if you have been watching me, you know that, I mean, I do kinda, I do kinda eat a little unhealthy a lot. We're trying to get that together, but I eat more vegetables than I ever have. So I'm just gonna say I eat better than I ever have because even though I still eat Look, I'm unhealthy. It's better than I've ever have. I mean, catch me 2010 in college. McDonald's was a staple. Ramen noodles was a staple. Anything that was fried 
deep fried and cheesy a staple even though i still enjoy those things now i definitely have my fair share of veggies and i love veggies um previous i just started really getting into the gym very heavy uh this last january and back in january i could probably do maybe 15 minutes of cardio without just saying f this and now i can gladly do 30 to 45 and still could do more but i gotta save my energy for weight training child I'm able to walk in the heat, y'all, without feeling like I'm going to die. The other day, I was with Bash, and my car was getting serviced, and I wanted to walk uh, just for us to, you know, not have to sit there, get some errands done, because there was a pet shop around the way. And I walked in Georgia, hot-ass, humid-ass weather. Child, did not phase me. I didn't even realize I was sweating profusely under my arms until I saw, like, the mark. But... It did not phase me and usually like I will tell you that I don't do the heat at all and I don't like the heat but it was just amazing how it didn't really affect me and I can't say it's because you know you're a smaller frame because I'm really not I'm not a smaller frame I'm a more toned frame but not a smaller frame so the thing that plus size girls are unhealthy now I'm not saying that there aren't any plus size girls that are unhealthy but child there's some skinny girls that's unhealthy weight doesn't have a lot to do with health uh, contrary to popular belief and also it's funny that if you start eating healthy you start exercising and doing things that we deem is healthy sometimes you'll lose weight so your health may be better and everybody will give the credit to weight loss oh your blood pressure is down and cholesterol is down because you lost weight when in reality your blood pressure down your cholesterol is down because you're eating better and you're exercising and you just happen to have lost weight your weight child that little number that be flashing from that little machine, don't tell you nothing <laughs> but the gravity pull that you have here on earth. I don't know if I said that right. I'm not really into science, but y'all get y'all get where I'm going with here. So like that is the top myth that plus size girls are unhealthy, they don't eat right, they don't exercise, and I am here as proof that child, I get to me and I was at the gym today, faithfully. I love it. It's awesome and it makes me feel great. And I'm not really doing it for weight loss. If weight loss happens, I mean that's cool. But if it don't, I mean, I'm still going to be looking like a snack. So I don't, I don't see the issue here. Anyway, guys, as always, I want to thank you guys for joining me with this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm here to spread positive messages, self-confidence, all of that for my beautiful plus-size women. And any women that need it in general. Any men, too. You know, I'm for everybody. Equal opportunity. That's me. But thank you guys, as always, for watching. And I'll see you guys in my next video.